Hello everybody, this is Diane, and I am going to be listing some fabric things in my shop. I have two journals that I've created, or journal covers, that you can fill with your journal pages that you make. And each cover comes with a little bag of goodies, which we'll go into. And then I also have uh, fabric flips and clusters <clears throat> to put in my shop. So let's just start with the covers. If you remember, I recently made fab uh, fabric covered journals using embroidered linens, vintage ones, and sheets and laces and things like that. And I made two extra covers. So here's one of them. I'm going to call this, um, this is set number one, okay? So it has this orange and blue with this daisies and colorful daisies on the flap. So it would be like this. And there is a piece of um, the green file folder in there just to give it a little bit of stiffness there at the spine and also it'll give tell you where to sew your signatures in. It's two inches. So this is what it would look like and this would wrap around it and this is a pieced together strip uh, made of vintage sheet and you could cut it off if it's too long but they're supposed to be long and then you just wrap it around and around and then tuck it in. Your book pages for this book could be um, about six inches or uh, five and three quarters by about nine inches. So I would make them five and three quarters by nine. So let's just take a look at what is on this cover. So it does have that vintage uh, embroidered piece that I mentioned. Um, the vintage sheet is behind it. It goes the entire length and everything is built upon this vintage sheet. There's this little piece of a, um, a linen piece that I had used and this edging was left so I used that. Beautiful lace here, a little strip of a, of a sheet. Um, vintage apron. That was a homemade apron that I love. This piece of really pretty vintage lace. This little piece. Some eyelet. This is modern lace. Some embroidery there. A strip of fabric. Some lace. There's a little bit of embroidery right there. And some right here. This gorgeous um, vintage doily and a vintage piece of tatting there. Um, and a handkerchief. And then on the inside, it's another piece of a vintage sheet or a vintage fabric. And there's a piece of a vintage pillowcase right here. There's a piece of that apron and a little piece of eyelet. And then I took another pillowcase and made a pocket here with a ribbon at the top. So, as I said, the book would be like this. You would unwrap this <coughs> the tie and open it up and then open it this way and you could put something in the pocket and you would have all your journal pages right here. I'm just going to go through one bag of what comes with the covers because they're both pretty much the same. So you get a few pieces of the vintage sheet and pillowcase fabrics that you can use to make embellishments. Um, some pieces of pink and blue lace and trim, crocheted doily, and a little medallion. So these are things that you can use to make little fabric clusters or embellishments to add into your journal that you create to put in those pages. The other book cover looks like this, and this is all one piece of it's a piece of one sheet. It's not pieced together. It's all one. Here is the embroidered piece on the flap. There's a little piece of embroidery there. There's the vintage apron there, and the, I love this sheet. I just love the colors of that. This is a little piece of flannel. It's so pretty. I uh, love that vintage lace. There's some of that blue trim. 
There's another piece of that blue trim. So again, there's eyelet, uh, vintage laces, uh, modern lace. I love this little piece of linen with the embroidery around it. Some embroidery there. This is a tufted or um, puffy kind of. It's very thick embroidery there and it's just so pretty. I love it there. And this, all this yellow here is a vintage handkerchief. And there's just a little piece of that striped fabric back there. So it's just fun to start with the she and then have your um, inspiration piece and then just start building layers. And um, after you build some layers to it and then you'll add your final pieces of lace and embroidery and stuff. It's just really fun to keep adding layers. Here's um, the vintage sheet that's on the inside. This is from a vintage pillowcase with a piece of lace at the top. So this one is set number two. It comes with this and the goodie bag. And I have six sets of fabric flips and clusters. There are 10 pieces in each set. Um, after I had a bunch of things made, I kind of laid them out according to size and I ended up with five different sizes. So I put two of each size in each kit. So you have various color palettes. You have more pastel or uh, shabby chic colors. And you have darker or brighter colors. So it depends on the kind of journal that you're making. So this is just an example. They're all different and they all have a piece of lace or something at the top. So those are two very different styles. This one would go well in a journal that has this in it. This one would go well with that one. I didn't try to match them up. I just sorted them according to size and then put two of each size in each pack. It's got a piece of vintage handkerchief that was left over from making those covers. And then, I think these are my favorites, the little itty bitties. I would just sew or glue them onto a page as an embellishment. I'll go through one or two more sets so you can see the variety. They're all just going to be listed together. Um, you don't choose a set. You just order one and, sorry, I grab a bag and mail it to you. I didn't realize that this one had two, but that's good because you could put them both in the same journal. Again, this is vintage handkerchief. Some of the pieces have stamped images. This one has two pieces with stamped images. And then the little itty bitties. And you get this nice yellow plaid bag that you can put in a journal too. I'll do one more. Oh, I'll just grab a random bag. So this one has some neutral colors. I love this bark cloth with the turquoise on it. That's vintage up here. This one has some vintage on it too. I think the fabric itself is vintage. Love that fabric. This one has some fun music on it and a fun little gold colored tassel. This is the muslin that I had colored. I don't even remember how I colored it. There's some stamping. It says homemade is best. And then the itty bitties. So you get an idea of the kind of assortment that would be in these bags. And like I said, there will be 10 pieces ranging from the long ones to the itty bitties. 
I have six sets available. If you wanted to order more than one set, or if you wanted to order a cover and a set of these, I would adjust the shipping and refund the difference. So, I hope that you like all of this fabric yumminess that's going in my shop. And I will leave a link to my shop below this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.